Hello, my name is Mark Asimus and I'm with Plumline Solutions. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use SQL Server Profiler to capture a trace of events in Microsoft Dynamics SL to be used to insist in troubleshooting issues or error messages that you may receive. I will cover how to download the preferred trace template from the customer source or partner source website. I will then load that trace template into SQL Server Profiler I will run a trace, save the trace, and zip it up for submission to Microsoft Dynamics SL support or for your own review. Here I am on the Partner Source website on a page where I can download the preferred SQL Server Profiler trace template for SQL Server 2012. There is an equivalent page for 2005 or 2008, depending on your version of SQL Server. On this page, there are instructions on downloading and using the trace template, which will line up with the steps that I will use in this video. So to start, I'm going to want to select this link to download the trace template. The download should this should launch the file transfer manager and allow me to download the file. Once downloaded, I can close out of this and I can close out of Internet Explorer. On my desktop, I now have a trace template with a file extension of TDF. I will want to load this on my SQL Server. On my SQL Server, I could double click this file and it will automatically launch SQL Server Profiler and tell me that my template was imported successfully. Once my template is imported, from within SQL Server Profiler, I can select File, New Trace. I will log into my server. And in the Use the Template drop-down box, there should be a new option usually at the end, called SL Support SQL 2012. If you're following along with SQL Server 2005 or 2008, the template name is slightly different, but it should stand out. Go ahead and select this. Before you click Run, log into Dynamics SL and get to the point where you want to begin the trace. So in my example, I will trace a, re a release of an accounts receivable batch. So before I start that trace, I'm going to want to open the release AR batches screen, select the batch I want to release, and just before I click begin processing, I'm going to switch back to SQL Server Profiler and click run. Once my trace is running, now I'll switch back to Dynamics SL. I will click begin processing. I will allow the batch to release or attempt to release, depending on what I'm trying to troubleshoot. And once that process is complete, I'll select back in SQL Server Profiler. Along the top, I'll click Stop Selected Trace. And now, I can either review my trace to begin troubleshooting the issue, or I can do File, Save As, Trace File, and save the trace and save the trace for submission to maybe my reseller or Microsoft Dynamics SL support. Or if you plan on emailing or sending this file off, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and zip the file these trace files compress very well. Once the file is compressed, now I can send this off to Dynamics SL support for further analysis. This concludes our video on how to run a SQL Server Profiler trace for troubleshooting Microsoft Dynamics SL. Thank you.